What's going on everyone? So I'm just gonna be doing a quick uh, little update, little tour for you guys, just so you all get to see what's been going on, any kind of changes that we've had in the turtle room, and some uh, new info. Just some stuff I've been thinking about. So let's just go ahead and get started. We'll just start with this side of the room. We have the double decker tortoise table, and then we have some more stuff. So let's just let's just get right into it. Okay, so this is my view of the tortoise table. It's pretty tall. I did board it up quite a bit, so it's, you know, can put a lot of substrate in there. But this is the Russian tortoise enclosure, uh, as it is right now. It's it's a little small than idealistic for some Russian tortoises that would be inside year round. But I've, as you guys have seen me build, they have a huge outdoor enclosure that they're in spring, summer, and a little bit of fall. But uh, this is their enclosure right now. See, they have a nice long board hide right there. This is gonna be the nesting spot. I built it up, it's about five inches, five to six inches deep right now. You can always add more. And that's if one of the females became gravid during the winter. And then we have our 100 watt or 150 watt heat bulb and a 10.0 UVB that was sent to me by a viewer. And over here we have our surplus of Missouri tortoise diet, all graciously sent by some uh, viewers. Five bags, I actually took it off the list because I was getting so much of it, which I'm extremely thankful for. I just didn't want you know it to go bad by the time I got to it. So once we get, you know, once we start crushing two, three more bags, I'll put it back on the list. But uh, this is the Russian tortoises. Now I have something to say about them, which is, it's, it could be taken both ways, good and bad. Um, it, we'll just have to see how it goes. Now below the Russian tortoises, we have Big Ben, Sakata tortoise, his enclosure. It's a slightly bigger than theirs just because of the thickness of the board size. It's basically the same size. But this is his enclosure. It's actually one of my favorites. I love how it's it's pretty simplistic. It, meets all of his needs and there he is in the back he always goes to bed around this time but as you can see he was dragging out that cactus pad that was also sent to me by a viewer so thank you for that um i believe it was kind of foggy in seattle sent those thank you so much but he's doing great and he's actually he loves these um calcium cuddle bones that was also sent to me by a viewer so thank you to him but uh I did upgrade his water bowl. Now he has a, a large terracotta pot rather than a medium. So he is living the life. Uh, I'll get him out. Uh, we'll, we'll see if he's out by the end of the video or not. But uh, his enclosure, nice and big, doing great. And I'm really happy with it. And then to the left, we have what would be Hank's enclosure. Now Hank will do this real quick flip this over Hank is the smaller male right here and then there's Lily the female so they're hiding out now Hank was by himself because he was bullying the other turtles or tortoises I should say he's bullying them and they weren't doing too well but I don't know what the deal is guys I swear to you you guys saw them I mean Amy you can see he's doing great <clears throat> these guys are doing great I actually just cleaned out their enclosure for this video they had a bunch of collard greens that they had just completely destroyed but for some reason this girl here has gotten sick I don't know exactly what the deal is um, I believe I caught it very early her eyes are a little puffy and um, she has trouble opening them I have a vet visit scheduled for tomorrow morning, so hopefully we'll just get this cleared up. But, um, so I have her in Hank's enclosure for right now just so she's separate. And it's a little drier in there too. It's not as, you know, it's not humid or moist in here at all. But the substrate itself in here holds a little bit more humidity than this. So the drier, warmer enclosure should help her a little bit. Now, before we get into the other animals, I just want to do a special thing about what I'm thinking about with the Russian tortoises. <clears throat> as you, as most of you know, 
I lost a huge, I'm talking six and a half, almost seven inch female Russian tortoise earlier this year from something I've never dealt with before and that was blood poisoning. How she got it, I don't know. A lot of people I've talked to doesn't know. It's just one of those weird reptile things. And a couple days, or I should say a week or so after that, I had her back in the woods so I could get her shell, I could preserve her shell. And I looked inside and they, she had, I think it was six, really big eggs inside of her. Unfortunately, I couldn't save any of them. I don't think they were fertile. But I think she got egg bound. And I think that's why she died. Um, it's just, it's so unfortunate. But the thing is, um, this girl here, I just think it's weird how I've kept Amy, my male. I've had him longer than any of the other turtles before. I've had him for like seven and a half years, okay? That's, that's older than some of you guys, I'm sure. But I've never had a problem with, Amy has never gotten sick before. I've never had him get sick ever. Hank has yet to get sick. Hank is, he's a beast. He does not get sick. He's a legend. Lily, I've not had her get sick yet. I've had her for a little over a year. So let's just keep it, you know, hope it stays that way. But guys, it's something with the females. I, it has to be. So if this girl here, if she doesn't make it, I am seriously considering scrapping the Russian tortoise breeding project idea and moving to a different species. It just, I cannot keep having instances like this. It hurts me and kills me in so many ways of seeing my, not only my animals, but amazing specimens of the species just get sick and die like that. And they're supposed to be one of the easier tortoises to care for, but I mean, they're reptiles. They're, they have unexplained things of how they can get sick. They're just, it's just how reptiles are. But let's just hope that this vet visit will completely clear her up. She is still eating. As you can see, she's still active. Um, I do think I caught it pretty early. So guys, let's just keep our fingers crossed. I seriously hope she gets better. She's an amazing tortoise and I love her personality so much. But you can see she kind of has that eye open. Um, she kind of flicks her head sometimes. But the vet visit will definitely help get her some antibiotics, some medicine. And I hope to clear that up very soon. But on a separate note, we have the other turtles. So this is Turbo's baby pool slash you know, kiddie pool, depending on what you call it. Where I grew up, we call it a kiddie pool. But this is Turbo. He's doing great. All the box turtles are doing fantastic, by the way. They've all acclimated to their enclosures so well, and I'm very happy to see how well they've acclimated. I mean, they, that's always the, the nervous part about bringing turtles you haven't had for a long time inside. You don't know how they're going to acclimate, but so far, I mean, they're all have acclimated. They're all started to eat. They've all gotten used to their enclosures, so great news for us. So Turbo here, he was being mean to the other males which is why I had to separate him in his own enclosure. Doing fantastic. To our right, if we're standing here, this is the stock tank, 180 gallon stock tank. All of these fellas, man, these guys are these guys are doing great. Now I have to be careful or they'll splash water on me. And I think Shadow is getting some kind of shedding problem again inside. See, they'll, Hurricane can get out of the way. Shadow's getting those white specks on her shell again. And as you can see down here, that would be Darwin, and then the other female, Spiny, and then Flapjack, the male, male Spiny. Over here we have the Golden Thread, and I brought in my male Northern Map, just because they were small and I wasn't sure how well they would make it outside during the winter. I they're extremely cold tolerant, so I have no doubt that the female will do just fine. But I brought in the male just just in case, because I love northern maps. So they're doing great. Pothos plant, just to kind of camouflage this a little bit, and I had this big empty spot, so I thought I'd put something there, and I think it really makes it look pretty good. To the left, 
we have the musk turtle tank now this tank I still think this is one of my favorite setups also you may notice no more water lettuce that is because it got eaten so just how it is so this tank amazing tank how's it going you can see my reflection but it's so it's so cool I'll get into this tank I want to do its, its own video on this tank so I'm not gonna say much but this is definitely one of the coolest tanks and as you can see we have little baby mollies platies in the back there's three or four there's one that has been in here for I want to say like a month and a half I think it's that one it's, it's pretty big now and then there were a few born a few weeks ago so I'm hoping they'll grow up and then I can put them in the stock tank so own video on this tank coming soon here we have the lower part of the other double decker box turtle table now this is some of you guys may uh, comment about how many turtles are in this enclosure but I do have to say all of them are doing just fine all have they've already eaten they're not stressed anymore they're all using the entire enclosure in fact Tiki you may notice this top board here it looks really bad he was getting out and he was getting out he's got he got out at least 10 times and it got to the point where I would just close the door and I wouldn't really care if he got out I mean there's no cords or anything he can get to to chew on but um, I put a board in the corner here I thought he was getting out there but then he got out a few more times so then I just now put this big board right up against the back I was pretty sure that's how he was getting out because I think he was getting on top of this pipe and climbing out the back because there was a lot of dirt specks on the, the fleece back there but doing great the Malaysian box is in here as well um, she's just gonna have to hang in there until I can get her own enclosure specific to her so that's definitely in the works but until then she's gonna have to hang out in here and I got them all better water bowls as you can see large lasagna pans very good and then up here our last enclosure we have the top of the box turtle enclosure in here we have a new box turtle you guys haven't seen his story coming soon it's a pretty gross one so there he is his name is bear and that's because you see right there right there this little pattern there it looks exactly like a bear paw print and he's a male so his name is bear here's their enclosure here's this amazing uh, strip LED light sent to me by a viewer thank you so much and I have these boards here so like this entire section is UVB and as you can see Elda is just loving it she has got her full personality back and is loving life and loves people here we have a 100 watt UVB or I'm sorry heat lamp then over here we have a 50 watt heat lamp and then we just have a aquarium light just for this side it doesn't come on a lot but uh, it does come on uh, probably two or three times a week under here we have frostbite and Ziggy they're doing fantastic Ziggy I actually think was trying to brewmate because I found her buried all the way down on the egg laying side so definitely something I'm gonna have to watch out on her for and then we have BB-8 little girl right there as you can see and they have lasagna pan not filled up as much because the turtles in here are slightly smaller than underneath but they still do enjoy it and they use it and they're all doing great so this is a, a little tour run through I didn't go into much detail because I wanna do a video about an hour long video about all of the turtles and all of their enclosures so stay tuned for that um, so it'll, it'll be a great video here's just a little like panoramic of the room definitely have to make use of all the space once I filled everything up on the floor like look at this one and then this turtle table once you build everything on the floor you just start building up so um, they, these are the turtles definitely my passion and here we go she's moving a little bit still the eyes closed but I'm really hoping the vet visit will definitely help her out but um thank you guys so much for watching 
I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and to comment. I love comments. Comment what you think about all these dudes and what your favorite variety of turtle or tortoise is. Do you like the aquatic turtles, box turtles, or tortoises? Which one's your favorite? Um, if you want to help support the channel, just like you m heard me mention all of these people to send me all these amazing things, check the description below in the P.O. box. You can click on one of the Amazon wish lists, and that will help. You know, I have a tortoise list, I have an aquatic turtle list, and I have a box turtle list. So you can choose which one you'd like to support, um, or just send general letters, mail, anything, and you'll get to see it unboxed and get to see it being used. So uh, thank you guys so much again for watching this video. Hope you enjoy it. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so, because why not? I mean, it doesn't hurt anything to click the subscribe button. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I said that like three times, and have a great day.